welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today because today we're going to be doing a really fun project. I'm going to be making a baby fox for you guys and to make it a little bit more unique and fun, we're going to make it fire princess themed. Now before we get started, I want to let you guys know that I'm going to have a sale going on in my Etsy shop. Everything is going to be 30% off until the end of Christmas. I'm going to keep adding to it until that time is up, so make sure to keep checking on it. And that's pretty much it. Anyways, let's get started. Okay guys, the first thing we're going to work on is the sewing for the fox. Right here I have all of the different pattern pieces that I made for this particular piece. I have the belly, the main body, you'll notice the neck is separate, and then over here is the tail. So I'm going to cut out all of these different pieces and then I'm going to show you how to put them together. Okay, so these are all of our fabric pieces that we have to work with. First thing I'm going to start on is going to be the tail. You'll notice there's two different pieces, so all I have to do is sandwich these together and start sewing. Now you'll notice that I didn't sew all of the tail together. I've left a good portion of that open. That's because the tail's so thin up here, it's really hard to flip the fabric right side out. So I'm going to flip it right side out and stuff it, and then I'm going to close that off. Next, I'm going to sew the neck of the fox to the main body. Once that's done, I'm going to sew the legs onto each other. You'll notice that the legs are really thin, so I'm only going to be sewing the front halves. I'm going to wait until we flip the piece right side out before I sew the back halves of the legs. Next, I'm going to take our belly piece and I'm going to sew our body pieces to this. So I'm going to start from where the neck is and I'm going to go all the way down connecting the legs and ending where we'll end up connecting the tail. As you can see, our main sewing for the body is pretty much done. I'm just going to flip the body right side out and I'm going to sew the back halves of the legs closed so that we can stuff those. Now for my fox, I wanted to add a little bit more fun to it, and I'm going to give it a pair of little wings. So I've got my felt all cut out, I made these little patterns right here, and I'm just going to connect all of these together to make a pair of wings. I also used some felt to add a little bit of decoration and this is going to be kind of like a little crown on the top of the head. I also used felt to make the ears. I cut a simple triangle out with the edge rounded off and I just glued this to the back of some fur fabric and then I cut the fur fabric out. Now even though this piece is kind of small, I'm still going to give it a wire frame, that way it can hold itself up and you can make it sit or stand. So I took my 14 gauge wire and I made a piece that will be the spine and the tail, and then I made two other pieces that are going to be for the legs. And I'm just going to take a 20 gauge wire and I'm going to wrap these all together to connect them. Now since the clay face is also going to be very small, I'm going to just take my glass container, lay out a bit of clay surface to work with, and I'm going to start building up the facial shape. So I'm going to start by making the snout, move on to adding some eyes, and then after those are mainly placed we can start adding like fur texture and different things like that. I think I'll add some scales as well.
after you have your face to where you want it, you're going to bake this in the oven at 275 Fahrenheit for roughly about probably 35 to 45 minutes. Once your clay has cooled from baking, we can move on to the painting. And since our fox is going to be a red fox, I'm going to prime our surface with a nice dark red. You might have to do a couple layers with this. Once the red paint has finally finished drying, we can start adding some highlights, some brighter reds to the face, and then I'm going to move on to painting the eyes a nice black surface to work with. Now normally when I'm painting my faces, I usually use modeling paint last, but because I wanted the eyes to be a goldish color, I'm going to have to use that now, and then just be careful not to touch it while I'm painting the other parts of the face. So I'm going to paint the eyes a nice gold color and then I'm going to add some extra details here and there. I'm also going to be painting the scales between the eyes a gold as well. Now after I painted the eyes, I took a little bit of pink paint and I went around it to make a bit of an eyelid, just to add a little bit more color to it. Now for my clay piece, I always use a layer of resin to help protect it, but if you don't like using that product, you can get a spray-on sealant or paint on a varnish. Okay, now that our face is all finished, we're going to start working on putting everything together. So I'm going to take my wire frame and I'm going to start by adding the tail to the piece. After that, we're going to slide our wire frame into the body, so just pushing the wires into all the legs. Now you'll notice that I did cut our neck wire a little shorter. I didn't need that much of it, so I just trimmed it off a bit. So now we're just going to take our head and we're going to apply some glue to the back of it and push it onto the wire and hold it into place. After that's dried, we're going to glue the fur around the face. Now I did need a little bit more fur fabric for the back of the piece, so I just cut this little pattern out and I'm going to glue it to the very top of the head and we're going to start closing up our neck. I'm going to make sure to stuff it as I'm doing this. Once I finished sewing up the neck, I'm going to take our little wings and we're going to glue them into place and then we're going to finish sewing up the piece. Now we just need to finish off the face, so I'm going to connect the ears along with our little crown that we made ahead of time, and then I'm also going to be using a gem and a little bit of fur to cover up some of the seams. The only thing I did after this was I took my hair trimmer and I went over the legs just so they were a little bit smoother. Okay guys, and that's how you make a baby fox that is fire princess themed. Anyways, I had a lot of fun. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If so, leave me a like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!